Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to make a motion sensor door with PIR sensor without microcontroller. So let's get started. For this, we need PIR sensor, passive infrared sensor and it has two potentiometer. With this potentiometer, we can control the range or sensitivity. And with this potentiometer, we can control the delay. This sensitivity up to 7 meter. And with this, we can control the delay from 3 seconds to 5 minutes. It also having a jumper. This pin is low and this one is high. If we put the jumper here then the trigger signal will not be repetitive and if we put it here then the trigger signal will be repetitive. For our project we have to put the jumper in this position that is in high position and it has three pins. If we keep it like this then the left pin is ground, the middle pin is the output pin and the right one is the plus VCC the PIR sensor its ground pin should be connected to the ground and VCC pin is connected to plus 6 volt and its output pin is connected to pin number 1 of IC 7404 pin number 14 of IC 7404 is connected to plus 6 volt and pin number 7 of this IC is connected to the ground. Then we need another IC. It is L293D. Pin number 2 of 7404 is connected to pin number 2 of L293D. And pin number 1 of 7404 is connected to pin number 7 of L293D. It's pin number 1, 8 and 16. These are connected to the plus 6 volt. It's pin number 4, 5, 12 and 13. These are connected to the ground. In the first video of this series, I have constructed a door link in the description below. As we have seen in that video that our door has 3 pins, open pin, close pin and ground. Ground pin of the door is connected to the ground open pin of the door is connected to pin number 6 of L293D and close pin of the door is connected to pin number 3 of L293D so this is the circuit now let's see this in practical IC7404 pin number 14 is connected to the plus VCC pin number 7 is connected to the ground L293D pin number 4 5, 12 and 13, these 4 are connected to the ground. Pin number 1, 8 and 16, these 3 are connected to the plus VCC. Pin number 2 of 7404 is connected to pin number 2 of L293D. Now here is our PIR sensor. Its ground pin is connected to the ground. The right side pin is plus VCC and it is connected to positive rail and the middle pin is signal pin or output and it is connected to pin number 1 of 7404 and one more connection we have to do pin number 1 of 7404 is connected to pin number 7 of L293D. Now we have to connect our door. As I told you, it has three pins. The black pin, it is ground pin. The green one is the open pin. And the yellow one is the closed pin. So, this is our circuit. And I'm keeping it here. The green pin, as it is closed pin, according to the circuit, it should be connected to the pin number three. The yellow one is the open pin 
and it should be connected to the pin number 6 of L293D and the black pin is the ground so it should be connected to the ground rail now connect both the rail the positive rail and the negative rail now I'll put the sensor above the door like this so that it can detect the motions in the back side or in the front side of the door connect the power supply here is the positive pin and here is the negative pin now I am turning on the power supply power supply is connected now I am moving out from the room it needs one minute to get ready for the action now see the action if I keeps moving my hand then the door will never close because I have set the jumper in the repetitive mode so my hands triggering it every time now if I stop moving then door will close see if I again move it the door is opened and if I stop my hands So guys, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I'll show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.